The National Cancer Institute estimates more than 10,000 people may die from otherwise preventable cancers because of delayed screening during the COVID-19 pandemic. For Your Life, Your Health, Ali Davis tells us a story of one man who is just so grateful that he went in for a colon screening when he did. Last year, Rick Rogers wasn't feeling himself. And then I almost passed out playing basketball. That's when he realized he needed to see a doctor. I'm usually the... Uh, the Superman type, you know, that you know, don't go to the doctor unless I absolutely have to. He's grateful he did. At just 39 years old, he was diagnosed with anemia and with colon cancer. 10 or 11 polyps and a tumor about the size of a golf ball. And, you know, you hear that stage three diagnosis, and that, that was really scary to get. Intermountain Healthcare's Dr. Mark Lewis says younger people are not immune. One in seven of my patients with colon cancers under the age of 50. Which is why he says colonoscopy screening is critical, even during the pandemic. Because if you're going in and removing a polyp at the precancerous phase, you're then preventing that polyp from remaining and growing into an actual cancer. This year, a U.S. task force is now recommending people of average risk to start screening at age 45 instead of 50. That is a huge shift. Lewis says unexplained weight loss, fatigue, or change in bowel habits could indicate something is wrong. After Roger's diagnosis, his six siblings and parents were also screened. My testing led to them being tested, you know, younger than they normally would have, which kind of prevented them from having issues. While Rogers admits the prep for a colonoscopy isn't always fun. One, don't be a wimp. Just do it. It's not that bad. And also... Pay attention to... Um, to your body. Today, Rogers is healthy and feels lucky to be alive. It's helped me to recognize and enjoy and appreciate every moment that I have. Especially with his wife and four young kids. For your life, your health. Allie Davis, KSL 5 News.